Okay, so we're half done. We have our particular solution. Now we have to talk about the null space. And we'll do it in two steps. We'll first consider a simpler problem, a simpler operator, and then we'll come back to this one. But let me just write down right here the problem that we have to solve for the null, for the null space. For the null space, we're looking for a function u, such that if you plug it into this operator, you get zero. That's what the null space is. The null space is the space of functions that the operator sends to zero. Remember the linear algebra analogy? Always, everything always goes back to a linear algebra analogy. Except instead of matrix, you say operator. Instead of vector, you say function, and so forth. But it's the same thing. So we're really solving this equation, u double prime minus 6u prime plus 8u equals 0. That's the equation we need to solve to find the null space. It's the 0, 0 the function that makes u an element in the null space. So some terminology. So this equation is called homogeneous because it has a zero on the right-hand side. For some reason, I prefer saying uh, homogeneous. Uh, maybe it's a little bit more British. I don't know. But I'm in the habit of saying homogeneous. And this equation is called inhomogeneous. So this equation being homogeneous is often called the homogenized version of this. Because this isn't an equation anyone gave us. We're sort of thinking that now we should think about this equation. So it's called the homogenized version of this. So we have for the null space, and that's what we have to do for the null space. So for the null space, we have to solve this equation. 